Hi guys, I am so excited to announce that I'm going to be making a new series where I'm going to show you from step number one to the last step of how I'm going to be coming up with my artwork for the Winx Club 20th Anniversary Challenge. That is a chance to win, to go to Italy and celebrate the 20th anniversary of our very favorite show. This series is going to contain literally everything I'm going to be doing from the first step of research and inspiration all the way through the final piece. How I come up with ideas, brainstorming, and then the final sketching, painting, and waiting for the result. Might be disappointing, might be exciting, but either way, whether we win or lose at the end, this will be an amazing experience to go through. As you can see, I'm going to be sitting and relaxing and just sipping my coffee. Of course, I'm just joking. I'm going to be doing some research. First, we're going to be doing the research using a device where we're going to look up online options, save some pictures, inspirations, things like that. I am not copying anybody. I'm not duplicating what's already been done. None of that. I'm simply getting inspiration, finding out the details of some outfits, information about the show. So we're going to go ahead and do that. And the second form of research, we're going to be looking at Winx Club items around the house that I have. So magazines, dolls, things like that just to get some artwork in my mind. All right, let's get started. So the first thing I'm going to do is I am going to go to Pinterest. As you can see, my feed is already filled up with like fairy type stuff and you see Wings Club here and there as well. So I'm just going to go ahead and click on some things all around just to, you know, get a little taste, a little bit inspo. I like this picture. It shows like different outfits that Stella wears throughout the seasons. So I need to think of what is the most nostalgic outfit, season, style, transformation, something like that. I feel like everybody's going to be doing their transformation outfit. So I want to do something a little bit unique. At least that's kind of like the mentality I'm going in with it. I'm thinking I could do something with the season two outfits, these ones, specifically that one. Or maybe like something with their shopping outfits. Oh, that season one outfit right here is also nice. It's extremely nostalgic to me, actually. So the piece that I want to make definitely has to have all six characters. I'm just trying to debate if it's going to be like a cute little photo shoot type or is it going to be like a cool pose? What's the artwork? I really like the swimsuit styles too. I actually have not seen these three before. These ones are also a good idea. I love posts like this. It's so nice. The artwork, the vibes, everything is just so crazy. I wonder who the artist is. They're so cute. This is really nice too. This is like an art of what the new season looks like. The question is also, am I going to do a transformation as is or am I going to do a spin-off? This Flora is beautiful. Love it. I have a t-shirt of her. Another thing that I can think of is doing a scene, like a picture of a scene, but changing the style, like making it more realistic or something like that. Oh, this is nice. I love it. This is like Tecna's outfits throughout the seasons. I can see like this is season one, season two. Let's go back here. I really love the artwork. Oh my gosh, this one is adorable. I kind of like this. I like that they use a different style. I, I like when people do that. This is really nice. I actually really like that one. I would kill to draw like this. Ooh. This is really sick. I also like this idea of one character looking back at their older transformations. And I like that this is in order. I've actually thought of doing this before. I'm not going to lie. I literally have sketches. I don't think I'm going to do it for this competition just because it is very time consuming. And my heart just can't handle doing one character. I have to do all of them. Ooh, I really like this. I don't know why I took out this page here because I'm not even going to sketch out anything yet. But I'm just going to describe to you like what I have in mind right now. I'm thinking I want to stick with the Enchantix transformation. Okay, so that was pretty cool to look at. I honestly got a few ideas already. I'm going to be honest, I'm definitely leaning towards the Enchantix transformation. I just want to make it a little bit more unique. So I saw a lot of Enchantix art and it's all beautiful. You know, they're embracing their own style. I just want to do something a little bit different. So this is what I have in mind as if now. This may or may not change throughout the process. I want to do the Enchantix art with each character on their separate box, somehow showing how they got their Enchantix. For example, Tecna got hers through saving the entire universe by closing the portal of the Omega Dimension. So like I'll have the Omega Dimension embedded somewhere like where the portal is. Yuga got hers by saving somebody from her hometown in the library of Althea. So I'll have something like that where there's fire in the background or whatever. Bloom, you know, from her whatever dragon island. <laughs> Either have like different boxes that are like clearly separated. Or I'll have 
all of these characters together in a pose somehow like in a vertical type pose and their scenarios are like in the background like they're fading away in the background might be a little too much i'm not sure or another idea is make it more horizontal just feel like horizontal sometimes it works better for these kind of things let's just say we do a horizontal version where each girl is doing her pose whatever it's gonna be like a mid body view and then just above would be like a background of what happened or like a background of their hometown. I'm thinking about all this in real time. I'm not even gonna lie. Like, did not think of this at all. I had different things in mind before I started, but I like where this is going. So we're gonna keep at that and I'll see you guys on the next step.